Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I wanted to share with you guys what I keep in my emergency makeup bag. Like what goes with me pretty much everywhere that I go, whether I travel, go to work, go out, like everything I need is in this little makeup bag that I, I mainly only keep it in my work bag. But it's so funny because over like the years, there's just things that have gone in here that like, I never really was like, oh my god, like I need to put like all these things in a makeup bag. Like no, it just kind of happened for me just like tossing stuff in. So this kind of just like created itself without me actually intentionally creating it. So I wanted to share what I keep in this little emergency makeup bag. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and Let's jump into the video. So I have shown you guys this bag one other time. I think it was in my what's in my work bag video. I showed you guys this and I showed you guys kind of what was in it, but I wanted to go into like detail with it because stuff in here changes all the time. Like I don't keep the exact same thing. Like there are some things that are like staples in here that are always in here, but then there's things that like I change in and out. So I wanted to share with you guys what I keep in it. So this bag itself, I actually bought it from Primark and I love that it says central perk and it has all this and I also love it because it's see-through because in like a dark makeup bag or like a non-see-through makeup bag you can't really see where stuff is and stuff kind of gets lost so I really wanted a clear one because I like being able to like go like this and kind of see where everything is and not have to like dig through stuff and take everything out to find something so that's why I have a clear one so I highly recommend a clear makeup bag if you were looking for one to like throw in like your work bag or your everyday bag definitely I recommend clear it does get a little bit actually this one isn't even that dirty it's a little dirty but it's fine so anyway so let's move on to what is inside the bag so at the very very top is my makeup forever ultra HD powder is it ultra no, this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation. I just spoke about this in my Sephora VIB Sale Recommendation video, but I keep this with me all the time. It is the best touch-up powder. I touch it up on my face, under my eyes, and it has a great mirror. Like, you can really see. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a really, really good mirror. I can really see everything in it, and this is just a great powder, especially if you're somebody that's like, on the go all the time you don't always have time to put makeup on this is great to just have with you because it is a powder foundation so you can just kind of put it on your face and it'll like neutralize everything and get rid of any redness and just kind of make you look a little more awake as opposed to having no makeup on so this is so just like i need this in my bag every single day like i use this i can't even tell you how many times a day i use that so moving on to the next thing i of course have a scrunchie because you never know when your hair is going to really piss you off and you need to throw it up. So I always make sure that I have a scrunchie in here because there's going to be that one day where I don't have one. Or like you really, really need one. You know what I mean? So I make sure that I always, always have one in there. So up next, I do keep hand lotion in here. This is from Bath and Body Works. Oh, let me show you. This is what it looks like. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Hand Cream in the scent Rose Water. I really love the scent of this. This isn't the most moisturizing hand cream. It would smell so good though. By any means, like I would definitely, if you have really, really dry hands, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. This is just like, if you want like your hands to kind of smell good, you know what I mean? Like it'll make your hands feel hydrated, but it won't make them feel like, okay, like it's actually doing something type thing. You know what I mean? So I definitely would recommend maybe like Aquaphor or Jergens or something like that if you really need like a good deep hydrating hand cream. I just keep this in here just because I like to always smell good and I feel like, especially at my job, I'm always doing stuff with my hands. So I don't want my hands to like smell funny, you know what I mean? So I always make sure that I have a scented hand lotion because who wants smelly hands? So then up next, oh, I always have eye drops in here. These are the Blink Gel Tears Lubricating Eye Drops. I get mine at Target, but I always have them in my bag because I get stuff, I don't even know what it is about my eyes, it's like they're a magnet for dust and just lint and I always have something in my eye, like at least once a day I'm like, oh my god I can't see, I can't see and it happens to me all the time and it's the worst, especially when you have makeup on because you can't like, just like rub your eyes, you know what I mean? So I like go in the back and at my job and I'm like, oh my god I love to get my eye and I like freaking take this and I like, 
like roll my eye around with the like the eye drop in there and I just try to get it out and even when I have really dry eyes because sometimes I sleep like when I sleep I sleep with my eyes like kind of like half open so when I wake up I do have drier eyes so my doctor recommended these and I just always keep them with me because if my eyes are feeling dry I can just pop this in my eye or if I have something in my eye that is how I get it out I don't know if you're supposed to do that I don't think you are but that's how I do it because I wear makeup and I don't want to be sitting there rubbing my eye you know so anyways so of course I have to talk about my staple lipstick I take this thing with me everywhere I don't know why I don't have multiple of them I should just invest in like four of them and keep one in each purse because this is the only lipstick that I've used for like almost a year now and this is the Sephora what is it the I still don't know, ever know the name whenever I talk about it um number seven in love love it's just my favorite nude it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now it's just so good I think it's like six or seven dollars or it might be eight but seriously it's not even like expensive it's just the best and it's so easy to throw on especially if you're like an on-the-go person like I feel like I'm always rushing I'm always like rushing to work or I'm rushing to like a doctor's appointment or I'm rushing somewhere and this is just so good just to like throw on really really quick and make your lips look so good it doesn't make them look dry even though it is a matte formula it's just the best up next okay just want to let you guys know a lot of this bag is lip products so I am going to be showing you guys a lot of like lipsticks lip liners liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, just a lot of that type of stuff I keep in here. So just letting you know now. <laughs> but okay, so let's talk about this. This is my favorite lip gloss at the... One of my favorite lip glosses. This is um, from Artist Couture in the shade Uncensored 2.0. This is what it looks like. This is also a great quick lipstick or a lip gloss if you just want to throw something on. Like I used it yesterday. I had nothing on my lips, like no lip balm, no lip liner, no lipstick or nothing. And it just looks really nice on your lips. Your lips don't look like dry or like gross or anything like that. It's just a really, really nice formula and it's a beautiful color. So I always make sure that I keep it with me in this bag because... You never know when you're going to need a good gloss. So up next, I do have a KKW Beauty one. This is in the shade 90s Moment. This is from her like matte lipstick um, 90s collection. This is what it looks like. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever used this lipstick. I got it for Christmas and I always forget that I have it. But it looks like that. It is a really, really pretty color. I just, I want to be a little bit more tan before I wear deeper shades like this a little bit more tan i'm not even tan in the slightest but i would like to be tan before i wear deeper shades like this but this is a beautiful color so then up next i do have a liquid lipstick this is from oh my god so dirty this is from huda beauty this is in the shade wifey this used to be my go to liquid lipstick you guys oh it is such a pretty color i don't know why i don't wear it more often it's probably why it's in this bag because i want to wear it more often but this is it right here it's just so pretty i love it and i really do like huda's liquid lipstick um formula they're nice to wear alone they don't make your lips dry or flaky like i'm really finicky when it comes to like lip products so this one is a really 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 nice formula all right so next i actually have a unopened um patrick ta what is this called i always forget what this is called silky lip cream in the shade she's unapologetic I don't know why I put this in here. I think because I knew I was running out of my other one. Oh, when I was going to Florida, I was running out of my other one and I purchased this so that I wouldn't run out while I was on vacation. And I actually haven't even used it yet because I still have some of the other one. I'm, I'm crazy, guys. I literally am excessive in every single way. One day I'll make a video explaining to you guys how excessive I am and you'll be like, hmm, do we still want to be subscribed to her? No, no, no. But seriously, this is one of my go-to lip colors as well. It's the perfect pinky nude. It's just so, it's the best ever. But then moving on, I do have another lipstick. This is from MAC. This is actually another one of my favorites. It's in the shade Act Natural. It's more like a gray toned nude, but I love that. It actually has a little bit of a pinky undertone, but it's like pinky gray. It's right here. It's my favorite. I actually like mixing the Sephora one and the MAC one together. They go great together, but yeah, that is another one of my favorite lipsticks. So then I do have a Rollerball perfume. This is from Victoria's Secrets, and this is in the, the scent Crush. It smells so, so good. The only thing is these don't last like at all. I just kind of keep it in here in case of like an emergency. I just need to like 
put it behind my ears and put it on my neck quick in case I'm like, oh, do I smell? Do I not smell? Like, I hate smelling. Like, I just, I always have perfume with me. I always have scented lotion. I always just make sure that I'm good because my boyfriend always makes fun of me. He's always like, the biggest insult is like telling you that you stink. And I'm like, yeah, because who would ever in their right mind want to stink? Like, no, thank you. But I do keep this in here. But in my work bag, I do keep like five other body sprays in there just because I'm always like, touching up to make sure that I smell nice and clean and fresh, you know, but yeah, I do keep a rollerball in there. My boyfriend just started blasting music in his room and I was like, um, you need to lower that because they're gonna copyright me and we can't have that. We cannot have any copyright strikes because of your music. So next, I do have another lip product. This is from Carly Bible and Ale Maquillage. This is the, uh, the shade Libra. This is what it looks like, another grayish type of lipstick. I actually do like this lipstick. I don't know why I always forget that I have it. See, it is a little bit more on the brown side. The MAC one is more gray. This one is a little bit more on the brown side. I can't wait to be tan to wear this. Ooh, it's going to look fire. Seriously, it's going to look so good. But okay, I think I'm just going to get the lip products out of the way and then move on to the rest of the stuff that's in here, you know? So then up next, I do have a Kat Von D lipstick in this shade Bow and Arrow. Wow, I didn't even know that it was this shade. I literally almost just ordered her liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow and I have the lipstick, so stupid, stupid me. But this is one of her like famous, famous shades. It's right over here. As you can see, I kind of stick to the same colors. I don't really branch outside my comfort zone, but that's it right there. Um, I don't know how I feel about this lipstick. I've only used it a few times. I always forget that I have it because I'm just so stuck on my Sephora one. Oh, let me swatch this one for you guys too. So you can see that I'm like, I have like a million of the same colors. So this is the Sephora one right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. So that's the Sephora one. So as you can see, the Sephora and the MAC one are a little bit similar. Um, and then the Bow and Hour one is definitely a little bit similar to the Sephora one. So that's that. I actually do love Kat Von D's packaging though. It's fire. Freaking amazing. All right. So then up next, you know what I realize every time I go through this bag? I really love MAC lipsticks. Like I always forget about MAC. I feel like MAC has a color for everything. I'm always on Sephora looking for a good nude lipstick or looking for a good lipstick. And I'm, I always forget about MAC. MAC has a million lipsticks and I always just forget about MAC. MAC is like, I feel, I feel like even though like years ago people used to talk about MAC and a lot of people don't really talk about their lipsticks anymore, I feel like MAC lipsticks are still like number one. I don't know. All right, so this is in the shade Creme de Nude. This is like my least favorite MAC lipstick actually. Um, I don't know. There's something about the formula that is just, I don't know. On my, maybe it's just the color, not actually the formula, but on my lips, I don't really like how it looks. It's right, right here. It's too peachy. I don't like peachy um, undertones in my lipstick. I like more of like a pink undertone or like a gray undertone. Like that's like what I go for. I don't really like peachy undertones. It's just, it's never really been my thing. Every time I buy something with a peachy undertone, I'm always like, <sighs> like I never ever wear it. <laughs> All right, so up next is, oh, this is a good shade. This is old, but a good shade. This is another MAC lipstick in the shade Really Me. I'm almost out of it. Well, not really, but this is what it looks like. This is for sure one of my go-tos. It's right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, it's the top one right there. I love, love this shade. Um, this is another lipstick that I feel like you can wear without a lip liner, without a gloss, without anything. You can just throw this on your lips super, super quick and it looks great. Every time I wore that lipstick, I used to always get compliments on it. I always forget that I have it like everything else that I'm talking about. But yeah, this is a really, really good lipstick. If I had to pick two, I would definitely have Really Me and the Sephora one in my bag with me at all. Like I, like I already do, but I'm saying if I had to, had to pick and I only could pick two, it'd be those two. All right, so the rest looks like lip liners, I think. All right, so this is from Carly Bible and Il Maquillage. This is in the shade, which one is it? It doesn't say. I don't know which one it is. Oh, in the shade Luna. Hello. All right. So this is what it looks like. I really like this lip liner. It's really dark. It's right over here. As you can see, it is definitely darker than any of these colors. This would be really nice to give me like a 90s vibe 
type of look. So that's a super, super pretty, pretty color. Of course, since I have the other two uh, Carly Bible lips, like lipstick and lip liner, I do keep the lip gloss in here as well. Oh, let me show you the other way. This is what it looks like. This is a bomb gloss. This is in the shade Star Child. I love this gloss formula. I love this gloss shade. It's so good. Out of all three, this is definitely like my favorite. I use this actually a lot now that I think about it. I do reach for this a lot because I really, really like it. So up next, oh, this is, which one is this? This is a KKW lip liner in the shade um, Nude Zero. Let me show you. This is, this has like a peachy undertone, so I don't use this one that much, but I just keep it in there just in case. Well, on camera, it doesn't look as peachy as this. This looks way more peachy. This definitely has a little bit more of a pink undertone than this, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I do, now that I'm looking at it, I should use it more often. I don't know why I don't, but yeah. Up next, I do keep this eyeliner in here. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL eyeliner in black. I always keep this with me, especially when I go to work, because if I do decide, first of all, just throwing a black liner in your waterline is the easiest, laziest girl trick ever. Literally, if I'm just like, if I feel like I look tired or I just look like, oh, if I want to look a little bit more like glammed up without taking 50 million years to do my makeup in the morning, I will just throw this in my waterline and good to go. It makes me look awake. It makes me look like I did something more, even though I really didn't. This takes me like not even 20 seconds to put in my waterline and be out the door. And it's good just in case I'm at work and I'm like, I want to put eyeliner on. I can just go in my bag and throw this on and it looks great. And of course I keep it with me so I can touch it up periodically throughout the day. I always have this with me. It's just something that I need to have with me is black eyeliner. I've been like that since I was like in high school and not even think middle school once I discovered black eyeliner. I used to sharpen them all the way down and I used to have them like this big and I used to keep them in my bra because back then I didn't carry a purse. I didn't even, I don't even think I had a phone back then. So I would just throw this in my bra just in case, like if I was at the movies, I could just go into the bathroom and like touch up my eyeliner. So it's, I'm just a creature of habit. So I'm 25 years old and I still keep a black eyeliner with me everywhere that I go. Some things never change. All right, so of course, hello, I always have three tampons with me. I have just, I need them with me all the time. I buy mine from Target. These are organic. This is by the brand Thistle. I think that's what it said. There's so much hair on these, I don't even understand. There's like all my like long brown hair in the bottom of the bag, ew. But anyways, yeah, I use only organic tampons just because I don't want to be putting nothing that's like poisonous up there. So I do only use organic and I do keep three with me at all times um, just because you never know when your period is going to show up. Seriously, I've been there a few times where it's just like, hmm, hi, I'm here and I have to scramble and ask people for tampons so I just Keep them with me now to avoid anything like that. Let me put these back. Oh, and then I do have a little perfume in here. This is from YSL. This is in the scent Mon Paris. This is definitely one of my favorites. I got this as a 100 point sample from Sephora. I love when Sephora has perfumes like this for a sample because they're so easy to put in your bag. And every time I see them, I'm like, yes, perfect. I can throw it in my makeup bag and just have it with me at all times. So. This is, oh, I just like scraped my nose with it. But this is a really beautiful scent. I think I might pick up the full size of it. Because oh, this is such a good frigging scent. But yes, yeah, so I do have that in there. All right, so then I do keep a makeup brush with me. This is a Morphe R31 brush. I do keep this in here because how are you going to touch up your makeup with powder if you don't have a brush? This isn't like a great brush or anything. It's not something like, oh my God, like I need this specific brush. It was just one that I didn't really use and I just threw it in here. And it's really good for itching because I get super itchy around my nose, especially with allergies and stuff. So I use this all the time at work to like scratch my face. I don't actually like scratch my makeup off, but it does get in right around my nose perfectly underneath my eyes. So it is good to have with me. Not a bad brush, but not one that I'm like, oh my God, you guys need to go out and buy this brush. It's just a random brush that I have that I just threw in here. And then the last thing in this is a, another scrunchie and then a hair clip. I keep this in here because sometimes I'm feeling just like pinning my hair back like half up half down like this type thing. So I do keep this in here because you never know when you're going to need a clip. So I always have to have this with me. Guys, yeah, so that is literally everything that I keep in my travel emergency makeup bag. I feel like it's a lot of lip products like don't get me wrong but I feel like I do have some good stuff in here that if I was ever in an emergency or ever needed something like 
This is like my survival kit. Seriously, this is my personal survival kit. Yours might look a little bit different. Let me know down below if you guys keep like an emergency like survivor kit in your purse with you because I obviously have other things in my purse but I keep more of like my beauty products obviously in a makeup bag so they don't get like lost in my purse and stuff but yeah so that is everything that I keep in my emergency makeup bag let me know down below if you guys are like me and you guys keep a bag just like this and yeah so that is all I have for you guys in this video I really hope you guys did enjoy please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and I will hopefully Catch you guys in my next video. Bye.